Hello, my name is Copper Top FPV. Um, yeah, that's aimed at somebody. Screw you. Um, just a really quick video. I've got some stuff in today from iFly, and the first two are these guys. And both of those are these are ESCs, and I don't usually waffle on about ESCs, but these are the ones that I particularly wanted. Um, with good reason if you've seen what I like to fly and these are the iFlight Success um, 50 amp slick BL32 D-Shot 1200 with an RGB LED so there's a mouthful for you and the reason I've been so excited about these is because how slim they are look at that so there's your LED and this thing is made out of eight layers of copper you can see it's a quite a chunky thing now we can talk about ESCs until the cow cows come home um, I'm a pretty practical guy so all I really care about is that it flies smooth and doesn't die the first time I get stuck in a tree and have to rev my props against um, a branch and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with 4-in-1 ESCs so on my Hyperlaw CG which is my sort of general purpose everyday quad I always use single ESCs and the reason for that is you know while all the fancy builds have got 4-in-1 ESCs etc I much prefer when I can to use separate ESCs um, because it's easier to fix them if um, one goes rather than having to rebuild your entire quad and I just have found them more reliable um, and with 4-in-1 ESCs I tend to go through patches so the back half of or mid of last year I was losing them left right and centre and refused to ever use them again and recently um, I've had a lot of good um, success with them so the reason that I love this guy and I wanted to get it so much um, so thanks to Patrick Zinger iFlight for getting these to me is because I've been waiting to build my Vert V2 of which here's some arms and here's some things I've been playing with that's uh, the little or one of the little um, 35 amp 6s 4 in 1 ESCs, a little tiny 20 by 20 that I'm running in the RS. Um, because I can't kill it, I bought another one just to play around with, so I've been sort of playing around at doing a dual stack. But while well, I've been waiting for this, but the reason why I wanted this is because of this. These ESCs are basically perfect for the verts. And they're also perfect for the smooth operators. So this is the 5 inch and they're pretty much identically sized to the arms. And this is the 6 inch and you can see the arms are Quite a bit thicker than the ESC. Now, all of these quads, the Hyperlaws and the smooth operators, are really designed to um, to be built with a four-in-one ESC. Um, you can build them with common ESCs, um, but they look ugly. Um, whereas the beauty of this is you can do a really sweet build, um, and you're not going to get any overhang or anything like that. Um, and because these are rated for 50 amp, you're going to have to be going some to um, to damage it if they work well. So what do we get? We get some heat shrink and we get some four little capacitors. And what are these? These are 35 volt 220 UF. And what iFlight are basically saying is if you're running up to 5S, you don't really need to use additional capacitors um, but they recommend for the life of your electronics to use a minimum of these 35 volt 220 UFs for um, 5S and if you want to run 6S then also stick 
um, a 50 volt capacitor on your battery leads, um, which is pretty standard practice for um, people running 6S. So I suppose the idea of these little guys, or you could basically stick them like so, directly onto the ESCs. And if you wanted to, you would then run a bigger capacitor on your um, on your battery leads. So dead excited about those. So I'm going to scrub what I was playing around with on my Vert Freestyle V2, and I'm going to use these components elsewhere. That's um, an F7 Mini Talon, and I'm going to build it with these. ESCs. The other one is bloody hard to get out for starters. Ah, cold hands. The other one is frankly a monster and actually a thing of beauty. Um, and this one's the iFlight Success 60 amp plus BL Heli 32 4 in 1 ESC. And it says 60 amp plus because frankly I'm guessing they didn't have anything bigger than that to test it on but in theory this can go up to 8s although I wouldn't want to try it but look at that it's totally a thing of beauty and it's pretty slender as well actually by the um, the connector so basically this is what you want to be using on probably um, six seven even eight inch build something that's really really gonna put a lot of strain on your ESC's and I haven't got anything that's gonna scratch the surface of what this is capable of I mean if you think that I'm flying the iFlight Zing 2207's on my five inch with this little guy and then compare it to this guy. If this is well, if this is um, <clears throat> an indication of the recent iFlight quality ESCs, um, this thing should be pretty immense. So yeah, so there's kind of not a lot to say about that. I mean, it just reeks of quality. It's, again, it's got a nice thickness to it. It's got loads of fets and caps and all the rest of it on um, but I just haven't really got anything that's gonna push this to its limit um, so really this was more out of curiosity for me um, when I asked if I could get some of these super slim ESC's um, he said he, he asked me if, there, if I wanted anything else um, I, I wasn't really planning on it so I thought oh, I'll have a look at this as well so yeah so couple of iFlight ESCs um, as always I'll be testing these out and letting you know what I think um, these will be going immediately on my um, on my Vert, uh, Vert V2 Freestyle um, don't know what I'm going to do with this I'll have to come up with some sort of new build um, possibly another 6 inch um, because nothing on 5 inch is going to scratch the surface I suppose the question on this is I think these are about 63 quid to buy um, from Banggood I don't know who else sells them but if you're going to spend that sort of money on an ESC just a normal ESC um, I suppose one of the reasons you might consider it is because of its huge tolerances and the fact it can go up to 60 amps I'm guessing it's not even going to get warm or struggle or anything on um, on on a much uh, much lighter build so if you've got money burning a hole in your pocket then it's one to uh, one to consider so yeah, so that's it from me. These definitely look out for. I'd be really curious as to see how these um, how these last and how they do. And if if um, if they last well, then these will be the ESCs I'm using moving forward on the smooth operators and um, and hyper lows because it it suits them to the ground. That's all, folks. Cheers. Bye bye.